this happened during my senior year of high school. And this particular event really shook me to my core. And for anonymously, I'm not going to mention my name, but I will do a brief backstory which led up to all this. During my senior year, me and my best friend, which I will call Adam, had talked about this called Deep Web and Dark Web. Adam was the one who actually introduced me these things from the original start. Like, he just talked about it and heard stories about what kinds of things you can actually find there. At first, I didn't even believe him any of, the, any of this. But Adam told me that he had once been to the Deep Web before, and he found a lot of crazy items like selling of illegal weapons, drugs, all kinds of things. I heard about those things and Adam had even told me that you could even hire a hitman, which I never would even to do, but I was like curious to know more about this deep web. So I asked him, like, how did you even go to find this supposed deep web or dark web? It's not unlike that you would just search how to get to deep web or dark web. Adam told me that you had to download a certain browser in order to get to the, a link to the deep web. So he mentioned about a name of one of those browsers. So after the school was over, when I get home, I was very deeply curious to go to this, try this. And this is one thing I really regret to even to this day. And you may understand and know why. As I get home, my parents was at work as usual, and since I was around 17 or almost 18 at the time, I was like, I just went to my, my computer at my own room and download this browser that Adam told me about. And I managed to find a link to this so-called so deep web. At first, I browsed at several different pages and sure enough, things that, that Adam did mention about buying illegal drugs, weapons, all kinds of knives, even machine guns, so all kinds of things. I was not as surprised that that was actually was there, but I wasn't looking for anything like this because I only been told about this. Adam told me it could be found some other things. I did browse around things, but of course, it was a lot of crazy things. That showed up. I mean, I didn't mind, but it wasn't until like after when my parents came home and dinner was ready when I had when I left the deep web. But I decided to go back to deep web after dinner just to see what else could be found. And during dinner, I I was I was in deep thoughts about the deep web. And I know that I couldn't just couldn't tell my parents of what I've been doing since they, before they got home. My dad would have been scolding me a lot, and I probably would have been grounded for months, or even have my ta my computer taken away from me, even my phone of all things. So, after dinner, I went back to my room, and went back to the deep web, and this time I decided to find some other might potential interesting things to just watch. Adam had told me to stay away from, from certain secret titles and course, but when I found this one link, and even for even to this day, I can't exactly remember what the name of it, but I'm sure that it's not even there anymore. Plus it has been a while since I was my only time on the deep web. I clicked on the link and it showed first a dark screen and there was like a there's like a chat, chat box but no and it seems that no one was else there and I was like and I was about to, to leave when I heard when I saw this the screen showed something it showed a man in a mask and he was talking about this event that he was going to do and he didn't get much into details. But as I was saw that he was in a van or something, at least it looks like a van, but it could have been a, a normal personal car. But I'm not so sure. But as I was seeing this, I noticed that he was 
parked. And then, but I do believe it was a van since he did show the back part. There was a big opening, and there was nothing there at all. Maybe just some carpet, but which makes sense. It's on big cars or big vans at the time. But as I saw this, that the car's windows were tinted, really tinted, dark. Maybe before beyond, beyond it was even illegally. I don't know, but. I noticed that he was talking about his plans to do this, and and then suddenly he stopped. And then he viewed the camera outside this young girl, probably in her early to mid-twenties. She was very beautiful, blonde, blue eyes, and very skinny. And I was curious, what is going on here? Could this be a prank or something? But before I could even react to anything, the sky jumped hop out of the car and then walked around and this young woman she didn't even notice that this guy was behind her and before anything could happen or before she could react he grabbed her from behind and told her to be quiet or he will stab her and he was in fact holding a knife and at first how could it be possible that he could actually be doing this well have shown it but they come to me a GoPro or some sort of camera that was top of him. So he was dragging her with a knife against her throat and while well inside he put a duct tape on her and and he told her to be quiet or he will kill her at anything like that. Then he turned around, walked out, went back to the driver's seat and took off. I was curious to know if this was some sort of pretty very bad prank or something against because maybe this guy was hired by some friends of hers to scare her but it wasn't i was terrified and and then suddenly the screen went dark and then it probably like for almost 20 minutes or so and then until the screen went back to the showing us that we were now in some sort of a, a warehouse or something and he had put this girl in a chair and she was crying of terrified. Now I realized this was not a prank. This was for real. But then suddenly he was talking to the camera saying some like he was using some sort of voice changer so that no one could actually identify them, I believe at least. That he said, Oh yes, now let the dog start with the fun. For part one, kidnap this you beautiful girl. Part two, her. Now, people, tell me what I should do with her. And I did notice that people, others, were watching this and were telling in the chat box to how what to do with her. And I'm not going to describe any of those because it was really terrifying. And I was about, about to leave, and he said, You. If you ever leave and tell anyone about this, I will find you. I am a hacker. And then he told me that I don't know what to do. So I just left. And the next the next thing, thing I did was removing this browser and I sat upon the computer terrified over what I've been watching. And there was nothing I could have done about it, since I don't even know where this happened. This could happen anywhere in, in the United States, or even Europe of all places. I don't even know where it happened. And the next day when I went back to school, Adam asked me if I tried the deep web, and I told him I did. But I didn't know if I should tell him or not. But I decided not to tell him exactly what happened. I was like, ah, you know, it was kind of boring, actually. Like you, the things you told me, the like, things you could actually find. And do you want to regret I never told anyone? Sure, I do. But like I said, there was nothing I could have done. I mean, I didn't know where. I don't even know where this even happened. And if this guy is supposed to be a hacker, he could easily be tracking me down and I could be the, be the next kidnapped the target of him. So I made my my own choice 
not to be telling Adam or my parents or basically anyone about what happened. I even I regret to even to this day, but there was nothing I could have done. And to this day, I had never been back to the deep web, and I will never will. If anyone asks me if I go there, I will tell them no. It was nothing worth it. For and that, and for this young woman, I'm sorry if I could never could help you. Sorry. This happened during my second year of college. This was something that scared me and my best friend Alice very much. And this is the reason why we both of us decided to stay away from the deep web forever. This was happening one evening when me and Alice had just finished our last homework for the week. And since it was a weekend the next day and we didn't have any plans, and since me and Alice were just sitting by my, by my laptop, we were just browsing around looking at some funny videos when suddenly Alice mentioned about this so-called deep web. I heard about it. At least, I heard been been hearing some scary stories of other people's encounters and experience with the deep web or dark web as some other people call it. I had never actually been to the deep web. I only heard stories about it and... Alice said that she had never either been to the deep web, but she was curious to, to know if it was possible if we could try to go to the deep web, even though I was much, very hesitating to even want to go there. But she said it could be fun. Who knows what else kind of things we will find there, she said. So even though I was first hesitating and I told her I didn't want to even want to go there, but she somehow she managed to convince me at least try it for once. So I decided why not. And I already knew exactly what to do. You had to download one particular browser in order to do so. So he looked, we looked it up and downloaded it and we went to the deep web and it was just, it's just as like as I already knew what can be found on the deep web. like. You can actually hire someone to kill some other people or buying some illegal drugs, illegal weapons, or basically anything. But I just thought this particular link and I clicked on it and they told us it, it showed us this like a a black screen with and a chat box on the below and we were just wondering what this could have been or if this was something that uh, if this was some sort of a live section or something. But as we were about to delete that video, that link to go somewhere else, we heard a voice. Welcome, new watchers. We actually was surprised that this was a very deep voice. Not like a normal deep man's voice, but it was some sort of voice changing system or something. And then suddenly the screen light up with showing so sort of like a basement and and we were first showing of the man you know behind this like a, a white mask but his voice changing voice and he said welcome all the rivers and new watchers today we have this very much entertainment for all of you and then he turned the camera and showed a young woman probably around me my age around 20, 21, I believe. And I was really stunned. She was tied up, had duct tape over her mouth, and she was crying. And she was, I was like, what is going on here? Alice shook her head as she had no idea. Today, we have a special guest here. And he didn't mention her name or anything. just said, girl, just this beautiful lady. And then he said, today... I have this very interesting idea. You will decide in which way I gonna kill her in front of this audience. We were shocked. He just admitted that he had somehow taken this young woman and taken her and now he was allowing the audience to choose in which way he was going to kill her live. I looked at Alice and she was so pale. 
she almost looked so scared, and I, I told her, we should leave. But then, before I was about to do it, the man said, if anyone decides to leave, you will, should know, I know exactly where, who and where you are. So if you try to tell anyone about this, you could be the next. That shook me and Alice. I was petrified. As uh, I guess, as we both saw the section of the chats, people were coming, stating the various of ways of killing her, stabbing her, burning her, all kinds of things. I we were not even first. We first believed that this could have been sort of a very sick prank or something. But seeing how this audience reactions or the young woman's reactions of all this. We both know this was not a prank. This was for actual real happening. And then everyone just agreed to just one single thing. Use a knife. Use a knife. And then he was like, agreed. Best choice to do it. Then he asked in which way? Slit her throat? Or just stab her multiple times? while she was sitting there, tied up. People said, stab, stab, stab. And we were petrified. But before we could do just to leave the room, he did that. We saw him stabbing this young woman at least like four or five times. And she was crying, almost squeaking, screaming, but in muffled voice. Alice took my hand from my to take the and just Turn off the computer in front of us. I was sitting there, petrified, pale, crying. I had no idea what to do. Alice, she was doing the same. And she was like, this, this can't be real. But I was beyond words. I knew exactly this was, this was real. We just witnessed a murder in front of a dark, deep web lie. But what, what, there was nothing else we could have done about this. Since this was the, the deep web, and we couldn't just report this to anyone. And when I mentioned this, Alice said, we should not talk about this ever again, or even to anyone else, because if this man knew who she were, and he, he could find her, it's a big risk that he could find us easily. And Alice had a point, and I thought maybe she was right. And I decided, and she decided, we would never mention this to anyone. But it has been a while since we both finished college, and even though we went separate ways, but we remain in contact for now and then. And this is the first time I ever mentioned this to anyone even online, my, my creepy, my terrifying, horrifying experience with the deep web that when I was a witness with my best friend of, of a murder live at the deep web, I would not have recommend anyone to go to the deep web ever again. If anyone asked me if I had ever been to the deep web, I would say no, and I would never even want to go there. And if anyone had, if one of my friends says to their, to their friends, I will tell them, don't go there. It's just not worth the time. And even if they ask me why, I wouldn't even want to tell them. Because even if I did, it, it's just like they're going to believe me or not. And in fact, I have never told anyone. The only ones in the world of this happened to know this happened is me. Alice and those people of that particular stream, we had never even talked about it ever since. And I will never, never talk about this to anyone else in a fear of this could happen to me or Alice. And for that, I'm saying this only once now. Never go into deep web, ever. This particular experience happened back in 2018 when I was just 
20 years old. I have been hearing a lot of stories about this called deep web, dark web from numerous of friends and even hearing stories about it online. I was always curious to know more about this place. And even though I also knew that it, this could have been could have been either been boring place or it could have been dangerous. I heard a lot of people been telling their scary experience about the deep web. Even I thought maybe this would never happen to me if I'm careful enough. And boy, I was really wrong on this one. No matter how careful you can be, anyone could have been experienced something like I did or even worse. But this happened in the summer of 2018, shortly after my 20th birthday. I was browsing on online and I was like bored and I had no other plans to do to that day. So I decided why not to try to go to the deep web and see what it actually is about. And like I said, I heard a lot of things about it. And not good ones, I'm sure. So I downloaded this particular browser and I actually went around and sure, I found what as most people have been talking about, like very creepy, illegal stuff. You know, even services that you can actually hide, hire someone to kill someone or something like that. I was like, this is something I already knew about. But I want to find something that most people probably had been experienced or anything. So, as I was looking around, I was probably browsing around on the, on the deep web for about maybe 20 minutes until I found one link that could probably be one thing. It was like a, a chat room. Like a, a normal chat room. Where there, and there were only a few people there talking. And at first, I was just looking what most people were talking about, but after a while, I decided this was nothing much, I nothing my, worth my attention, uh, but I was about to leave. This person, or at least a man, I believe, he typed to me privately and asked what I'm doing here and what I was looking for. At first, I was thinking of to leave, but then he posted my name, which I'm not going to mention exactly what it is for privacy. But he meant, he just typed my name, and I was like, okay, that got my attention. And I told him that I wasn't really sure what I was looking for. I just went on the deep web to browsing around to see what this could have been around or what it's about. And he asked if I what I thought about it so far. And I said, there was... Basically, what I had all been told and heard what it's about. And he asked me if I want to talk more or something or different. Maybe or something. But I said, I wasn't really much interested in being by or anything or just, I'm only there to just the browsing. And he then told me that he had been on the, on the deep web for many times already. And he started asking me something about myself, like how college has been and... I was like between 20 years old. I was really curious because I never mentioned that I was in college and that I was 20 years old. But then he said I that he could easily been track those information online through the deep web. And I, that's got scared, that scared me. And he told me if I ever leave, he will find me easily. I was really terrified about what to do next. So I told him that I didn't take that kind of like as those words kindly, and like I told him, I'm only looking for for information, only chat, and maybe look around what this deep web was even about. So he told me that we can talk, only talk, and he only asked for some sort of my time to just talk. But then he would allow me to go. And even though I was not really much to talk to this man, it turns out he was a creep. But since he already knew my name, my age, and I was in college, he probably knew exactly my home address. So I luckily agreed. We spent maybe in half an hour talking, and even though he was not fretting anymore, but he was a really creepy guy. Turns out he was in him, he was only a few years older than me, like 25 or something. But he was still much a creep. 
even though he was creeping on me, but he never said that he was going to look for me or find me or anything. And after about a half an hour, almost an hour, he told me that I can go. But he told me to stay away from the deep web ever again. Because, in according to his words, it's a dangerous place. At least I did encounter him that he was at least one of the more friendly, a few rare friendly people on the deep web. I told him I was never going to be back and I thanked him for this at least decent compensation. And I left that particular link and I turned off the deep web and deleted that browser. And I made my promise I never going going back to the deep web. Even though this guy wasn't very much one of those classical creeper stalkers or anything, but he kept his word. I had never heard anything from this guy ever again.